Hey, good morning guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I'm going to do an MCOM Tools update. That's the software project I started about uh, four months ago and it has largely stalled due to uh, time constraints. And uh, I'm actually out here with my wife. Uh, she's going, I'm following her, but I think we're going in the wrong direction. We're going in the wrong direction. Cease. We're going in the wrong direction over here. All right, apologies about getting turned around and the uh, distractions. You would think the National Forest would be a bit quieter. Uh, so MCOM Tools is the field expedient software package I put uh, primarily to simplify message passing and switching between digital modes. Um, I have written a new prototype that incorporates offline mapping capabilities to basically identify other waypoints or points of interest beyond just what you get with the APRS beacons. And it merges those two points of interest, actually more than that. And the primary use case I found was I want to be able to test with my new FTM 6000 man pack, the ability to get into distant repeaters. So I've also uh, fetched in my area from repeater book, um, all of the local two meter 440 repeaters and also plot that on the map. And the goal there is for me to be able to have a way of using the same technology I used with the FCC offline call database lookup and be able to take my uh, Yegi antenna and a remote repeater and be able to lock on its bearing and presumably use repeaters now that are upwards of 30, 35 miles from my location and it's working really well. Now, this is also a separate prototype. It needs to be merged in with the overall MCOM tools project, but um, you guys get the point that MCOM tools now is starting to turn into a platform. And between all of the offline database capabilities, mapping functionality, uh, distance calculations, bearing calculations, messaging options, I think it'll also be really great for public service. So for my next wilderness public service event, I want to also do some uh, text-based message passing. So I'm looking at incorporating the FL Digi Suite under the hood and simplifying the exchange of data for uh, things like public service and emergency communications. Uh, basically anything that would be in a tabular format. Um, so the goal there is to make it super simple I uh, haven't made any progress there yet, but uh, I do want to have it be part of the core uh, platform. So bottom line is uh, the software project is very much delayed. It will be a 2022 release. I still need a lot of time to make changes. I've gone through multiple um, iterations of the, um, the software as is, but I see the potential for it to be a Swiss army knife for emergency uh, communications and just communications in general where you want some offline tactical uh, awareness capabilities. So with that said, uh, I'll be continuing now to have some more momentum on these updates on buy me a coffee slash the tech prepper. I don't want to taint too much of what I'm doing on the primary YouTube channel. So if you guys want to support me there where I plan to use the proceeds is I want to change not move away from the Raspberry Pi, that will be fully supported as a first class citizen, but I would like to have a larger unified display. And uh, George from Pactena did a podcast where he has had good luck with the Toughbook CF-20. It's a 10 inch rugged tablet with the ability to detach the keyboard. And I will be deploying Linux on that. And uh, with that said, Linux and Raspberry Pi OS, Raspberry Pi OS, will be the two operating systems that are fully supported by default. So that's kind of my target platform. And I think it if you're looking for off-grid, offline uh, capability to have tactical awareness, situational awareness, uh, be able to uh, traffic text data, location data, this might be the platform for you. And I want to thank, I think, about the 100 or so followers and supporters I have on Buy Me A Cup Of Coffee, or Buy Me A Coffee slash the tech prepper. And um, like I said, it'll be a fun software project. I'm not gonna release it earlier than it's ready because I can't put the genie back in the bottle. All right, guys, uh, more to come. Uh, stay tuned, be strong, be safe, and be prepared. All right, we're back on trail, that was fun. Uh, so MCOM tools was that uh, field expedient, what's with these freaking airplanes? <laughs> 